Hey guys, it's me Kirkul Cubing and today I have an unboxing of the GE 6.0 cm Sail. So this is a bigger version of their previous budget cube, the GE Sail. So yeah, let's take a look at it. And before we do that, I have to mention something. The cube actually came in pretty good packaging. So we first have this bubble wrap, then we had this wrap, then we had this DHL wrap, and after that we had another DHL wrap. So it actually came in four layers which according to me is beyond great packaging and I and this is the first time that I'm seeing packaging this great. So big thank you to Chi for sending this cube to me and also big thank you to Rex from Chi for giving me this opportunity and thank you Chi for this. Okay, it actually feels a bit bigger than normal cubes. So I have my Val 3 here for comparison and Val 3 is like that much and I also have the MF3 RS for comparison so MF3 RS is 56 millimeter and the Val 3 is 55.5 millimeter so yeah these are the differences it's not that huge of a difference but you can definitely see that this cube is a bit bigger than the other 3x3 cubes at a first glance so like that and let's go on into first turns Okay, it's actually actually pretty it's actually pretty fast as of now. And the factory tube is probably making it fast and it has this kind of a nice feel to it. So if you can hear this, it kind of has this uh, bit sandy slash gliding feel as of now and I kind of like this feel. However, once the lubrication dies down, you, this feel will also die down. Yeah, this feel is actually quite nice and just like I mentioned, the cube is very fast. You can just see the speed. I'm kind of overshooting because I cannot control it that good. But the cube being but the cube being bigger is not giving me that huge of a problem as the difference is not that huge like like in my hands I do not feel that the cube is that huge like I can only see the difference with my eyes but I do not feel the difference while I'm turning and the occasional lockups and catches is only because of the speed I'm not able to control this cube that much because it is very fast out of the box and the cube also does not feature the square of font design let's check out the corner cutting so it's kind of 45 degrees but actually requires a bit bit of force so you will require some force for cutting 45 degrees but the tensions are also very tight so it may be because of the tensions and reverse corner cutting is at around this much so it's like one third two third yeah it cannot really do like it's actually two thirds of a QB reverse corner cutting However, reverse corner cutting does take a bit of force as of now. It's because the tensions are very tight as of now, as you can see. And it's kind of amazing to see the cube performing this fast, even on these tight tensions. The speed is actually phenomenal out of the box. It's probably one of the f one one of the more faster cubes that I have uh, tried out of the box. So yeah, that U-Bum was very fast. Yeah, that was really nice. Like, I did get a bit of a lock up there, but the U-Bum was kind of fast. So you, so you can see, Sail has this fast feel to it, even on the tight tension. You can also do 45 degrees for normal corner cutting, and 2 thirds for reverse corner cutting. And it does have the normal corners, so it does not have the square of corner design. But on these tight tensions, it is practically impossible to actually corner twist this cube. As for my first impressions, the cube is actually fast and even though this is a bit bigger than normal speed cubes that you get and you do see the difference when you hold the cube in your hands, however while I'm turning I do not feel the difference. For me the difference is only visually and not while turning. And the turning is actually quite nice, it has this kind of uh, sandy kind of a turning as of now which is getting smoother as I am turning so the turning, so the feel has changed a bit from when I first started turning the cube 
and it is becoming more and more smoother so the feel is definitely changing and yeah that is what I can say of this GE 6.0 centimeter cube as of now. My pros of this cube is that it is fast, it, it has a good feel to it and the toning is also quite pleasant. The only downside would be that because of its fastness I am getting catches and locks and the tensions are a bit tight so the catches and locks are also uh, happening due to that and because of the tight tensions the corner cutting has, has also been affected a bit. And yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys. Don't forget to give this a like and also subscribe for more cubing content. I will see you next time and bye.